Well, Bridget, students say they don't plan to stop anytime soon. And I just checked right before we went on, to, on the air. The students are meeting just beyond this building behind me here on the campus of Yale. We're not allowed to take our camera onto campus, but they are still there, about a couple hundred of them. And they said they're hoping to send a message because the Yale Board of Trustees are meeting on campus this very weekend. We shall not be Occupy Beneke Instagram page shows the more than 400 students who protested at Beneke Plaza Friday night. Students demanding the university divest stocks that are tied to military weapon manufacturing, especially when it comes to the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. We're calling to the irony and the complicity of Yale's military weapons investments um, and asking that they immediately disclose their military weapons investments and divest. This most recent filing to the U.S. Security Exchange Commission shows Yale holds thousands of shares of two ETF stocks totaling nearly $14.5 million. And that includes at least 70 military weapons contractors that are known to supply the Israeli military. Nearly 100 students placed tents just outside the building where the Board of Trustees were having dinner Friday night. Board of Trustees were inside of the building right next to where we were chanting and singing and praying. Um, we saw them enter and exit the building. The demonstration now into its second day. Get up, get down. Dozens of students marched across campus Saturday morning to where the Board of Trustees were meeting in hopes their message would be heard. They left. The next time that they formally meet will not be until the fall, but that is not to say that they don't have the power to at any moment um, change their investment strategies, meet and make decisions. Organizers say people from Columbia University traveled to Yale to stand in solidarity after protests on campus in New York resulted in arrests. So how do students at Yale feel about this demonstration? I, I'm not aware of like any negative comments about the encampments. I think generally people are pretty supportive towards them. Those camping out say they're not planning to go anywhere anytime soon. The plan is to stay and to continue resisting until Yale Corporation discloses and divests from military weapon investments. And the university spokesperson says that no arrests have been made at this time. It's unclear how long the university will allow the encampment to stay on Beinecke Plaza. Reporting live in New Haven, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.